Good morning. This is Mission Control at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. On orbit, we have the Expedition 35 crew of Commander Chris Hadfield, joined by cosmonauts Pavel Vinogradov, Alexander Misurkin, Roman Romanenko, and NASA astronauts Chris Cassidy and Tom Marshburn. First up for the crew, especially for Commander Chris Hadfield, was some dietary logs as part of the ongoing energy experiment. This is a study being conducted by the European Space Agency, which has the crew members adhering to a strict regimented diet and also monitors their oxygen uptake as a study of their metabolism. This will help uh, ensure proper nutrition to maximize crew performance in future missions. Chris Hadfield was joined by NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn for work on the upgrades to the KU communication system. This morning they worked on the high rate communication system uh, unit one installation that lasted about four and a half hours. Hatfield and Marshburn have spent the most of the day installing the redundant KU communications unit to complete the refurbishment of the station's KU system. That KU Comm Unit 2, which was installed and checked out last week, will continue to be the prime unit for the new high-rate communication system, with Unit 1 serving for the time being as a backup. Their fellow crewmate, Chris Cassidy, spent his morning uh, doing a number of maintenance tasks, including some work on the environmental health system. He had about uh, three hours dedicated to the replacement of radiation area monitors. There was about 25 of those placed throughout the International Space Station. He removed uh, the original 25 and replaced them with new radiation monitors. It's Cassidy, who's also a new arrival on the International Space Station, has a few hours this afternoon dedicated to a cleanup of the crew quarters. Uh, that will continue uh, throughout the afternoon for him. He'll also have a private routine medical checkup and exercise sessions. Meanwhile, their cosmonaut counterparts, Pavel Vinogradov and Roman Romanenko, continued with their spacewalk preparations. Today's activities included preparations of the toolkit as well as continued battery charging as well as some sizing configurations for the two suits. That, again, preparation for a spacewalk that is scheduled for April 19th during that planned excursion outside of the space station. The two cosmonauts will deploy and retrieve experiments and replace a retro reflector navigational aid on the exterior of the Zezda service module that will be used by the European Space Agency's ATV vehicle named Albert Einstein that uh, is planned to dock to the space station in June. Their fellow cosmonaut, Alexander Mazurkin, uh, worked on some science experiments including the chromata, chromata mass experiment and also did some saliva and blood collections. He also worked on the Constanta experiment which studies the effect of microgravity on an enzyme. Again, all those activities going smoothly and we're in the early part of the crew day that will continue for the next several hours. They're scheduled for off-duty and personal time around 2.30 p.m. Central Time and crew sleep planned for 4.30 p.m. Central Time.